What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Mist Survival. All right, so today we are going to be working on some farming. Now, if we're going to be doing farming, we're going to want water, and we're going to need a lot of water. It's not like the, the regular water, you know, for putting in this thing and just, you know, drinking. Um, we're going to need a lot of water for this, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves a water barrel. Also, I'm thinking about messing with the DIY water tank really quickly. A barrel used to contain 300 liters of water, which you can make a, into, make a small water supply system with. What, how, how does that even work? Like, what, Why is this better than this? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I know it holds more water, but this thing will hold 100 liters of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft this, and then we're going to go down here to the water supply, um, grab, fill it up, and then bring it back because we will have to water our crops every day. Uh, now, as far as I as far as I understand, and this is very, you know, who knows, right? But as far as I understand, the crops will not die if you do not water them. But you, I, they also won't grow. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And really quickly, this whole trash bin thing uh, with getting ele electronic parts has been fixed, and I am not happy about it. He needs to let us craft electronic parts. That's all. That's it, man. Just let us craft the damn things. We can make copper wire. We can get our hands on copper. Let us craft them because they are just not in the loot. Well, maybe when he fixed this, he messed with the loot table and maybe there will be more electronic parts out there now. I don't know. All I know is is my game, I can't find the damn things. Uh, I find a couple. I think I've looted like three this whole game and I'm on day like 45, okay? So hopefully he's messed with the loot table. We'll see. I think he should just let us craft them. And the reason those are so important is because I need them for every single light that you make in the game. And I want to be able to see. So that's just kind of what I'm looking at there. All right, I'm going to wait for this thunderstorm to finish up because I am not going outside in this. Uh, let's just come up here and go to sleep. All right, by the way, don't have your seeds on you when it's raining. I'm telling you, because your seeds will just disintegrate. You know, you get a, you get a couple drops of rainwater on you, and your freaking seeds disintegrate. All right, now, I know it's dark, I know it's dark. Please bear with me, please bear with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And there's lights, barely. But there is light. There's light in the key places. So, um, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat. Now, if these pieces of meat... If these pieces of meat get too low, I can always turn them into dry meat. You can turn cooked meat into dry meat. So, And I will do that if I have to. But only if I have to. And there's my seeds right there. Um, also, I've been told that when you farm, you don't get extra seeds. So, what the fudge? You pieces of crap. My door is open. Why didn't you try and come in? Idiot. Idiot. Moron. Okay. I'm going to ignore that jackass. Although I can't go out there and turn off my thing now. Um, yeah, that's true. Oh, man. I should keep... The, you know what? I'm going to move the generator in the house today. Because I want to be able to deal with the generator at night. I'm about to waste some fuel. And that whole fuel thing, going from car to car, that's going to be fixed. It might already. It might actually already be fixed. Um, you know what? Nah, I was going to go outside and fight these guys, but there's not enough light out there. You won't be able to see what's going on. And I'm not making dark videos, so... Yeah, it's going to be hard to sleep through the night with these guys out there. And I am wasting fuel, but... You know, I'm going to... You know what? As soon as I'm done here, first thing I'm doing is moving the generator inside. So, I went outside, and I don't know where the infected were, but they weren't messing with me. So, I moved the generator in here. So, now it's covering as much of the area as I, po as I possibly can. Let's go see if it's actually covering over there because it might not be no it looks pretty good that looks pretty good let's loot these guys i'm gonna leave the bottle yeah let's look in here yeah this all looks pretty good all right good that's it that's a good spot for the generator then i just it only has a certain circumference so i should probably make sure i loot all the infected let's see if there's any more around here because that would be a good way to get electronic parts oh come on freaking punk ass Disappearing punk ass infected. Usually there's some over here. Nope. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the generator off. All right. So there's get there's two kinds of farms in this game. All right. There is the furrows, and that takes manure. I can make two of those. I have two things of manure. And then there's these um, freestanding thingies, and these take garden soil. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out and make a trip. To my old base. I know there's some garden soil out there. I'm going to go make a trip out there. And we're going to get some garden soil. And I'm also... You know what? While we're out, we'll get some water as well. Do I want to keep the water container inside? I think I do. I might not be able to get it out the door if I make it inside. 
But I don't see any reason not to make it inside. Let's we'll just put it right here for now. And we're going to need... Well, we don't need anything. We can always finish when we get back. Yeah, we just need the water. With... No, no, we need to take that with us. What the hell am I thinking? Yeah, this needs to come with us. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Like, I'm, I'm talking like it's your fault. Come on, guys. Why didn't, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> why did that's really funny. <laughs> All right, let's just put that right there and build this. So every time I put something on top of my truck, right, it's like a crapshoot whether it's going to stay on there or not. I'm not sure what the rules are. Um, this thing will stay on there. I've already moved the truck to make sure. But yeah, sometimes I put stuff up there and it stays. Sometimes I put stuff up there and it doesn't. And it's not just the items either, you know, uh, because um, I had like those secure storage lockers back in my other base. I put one on top, it stayed there. I put the other one, it didn't. Um, it must be the position you put them in. Yeah, for sure. All right, there's a couple things I wanted to address, and I just keep forgetting, so let's do it now. Turn on lights in the mines. I meant to address this last video. I totally forgot. Uh, people said, you can fix the lights in the mines. Didn't you do that? And I was like, yeah, I did. I fixed all the lights in the mines, and then I turned them all on. Um, but I left and came back, and I'm thinking when you leave and come back, you have to turn them on again. So I think what I'm going to do is next time I go, to the and honestly, I think even with all the, and we're talking about the very bottom of the mines, like where I was doing all the mining. And I needed a bunch of torches and everything. Um, I think that when you turn on all those lights, it doesn't light up that room enough. I remember that from back in the day, although I could be misremembering. So I'm not really sure. I'm gonna when I go back down in the mines next time, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on all the lights and, and see if it's enough on the bottom. Uh, you know. Also, reloading bench. Okay, so there's the reason it's called a reloading bench is because you are reloading the spent shell cartridge. I, I don't know what to call it. You know, when, it, when you, a bullet's made of, th and I, I could be wrong about this, if I am, correct me. But as far as my very limited understanding of this, a bullet's made of uh, t three components. The casing, the gunpowder, and the tip. Okay? So whenever you shoot it, the, the gunpowder's used up, the tip's used up, the gunpowder explodes, throws the tip out the front, the tip goes into whatever you're shooting at, and the casing gets ejected onto the, onto the ground next to you. It just pops out of the gun, right? So, uh, I believe on in The Walking Dead, the comic book, I don't know if they did it in the, in the show or not because I stopped watching the show, but I believe in the comic book of The Walking Dead, didn't they go around picking up bullet casings and, like, Eugene was, like, refitting them and ma turning them into proper bullets again? So, uh, yeah, so the whole idea is the casing is being reloaded, right? You're not reloading the gun, you're reloading the casing, if that makes any sense. So you have the casing, and you're reloading the the the, uh, the gunpowder into the casing and putting the bullet tip in after that. That's why it's called a reloading bench. And that makes total sense to me. That's that's a perfectly fine explanation. It makes 100% sense. So I was just uh, I just didn't understand the way. It, well, I mean, I understood the way it worked. I just didn't think about it that way. I think of reloading the gun. You know. All right. So oh yeah, I used to live here, didn't I? Did I leave anything here? I thought I did. Oops. I don't want that. Let's <laughs> put just cig cigarettes on the ground. <laughs> oh, memories. Did I leave any uh, gunpowder in here? No, I took it. There's accelerant, but I don't, I don't care enough. I got, I got plenty of accelerant. And there's some wood in there. Okay, great. Cool. Now that we've looted this, let's go get the soil, which is what we really came here for. Oh, one second. Sorry. Okay, just making sure. Alright, so well, might as well loot this stuff too. Yep, there's the other locker. See, I'll try to put this on top, but it doesn't mean it's going to stay there. So we'll see. It might. Alright, so that is... Oh, that's 10 kilograms? Beautiful. I only need 35 for the biggest plot. Cool. I probably won't plant in these because my in my test game, I planted in these and it worked. I'm not 100% if planting in these will work. It's very temperamental and everything. I'll make one, but I, I probably won't plant anything in them unless I get more seeds. Um, yeah, the, the whole idea of not getting seeds back. Did I mention this? I don't know. I might not have mentioned this. I might have. If I did already, then sorry. I'm having a senior moment. But um, when you harvest stuff, you don't get seeds back, at least as far as I know. And if that's the case and you have to loot seeds for every single crop you plant, that's, that's not worth it. The seeds are way too rare. Way too rare. Okay. All right. I think we're done here. Let's go get some water. And yes, I did forget the buckets at home. So I went back and got them. I mean, home's almost right across the street from where I get the water anyway. So not really a huge deal, but still kind of annoying. 
All right, so now we're going to come down here to the water. All right, and I think this looks like a good spot right down here. I want to be careful. This thing can fall in the water. So, got to be careful with that. All right, let's see how we do this. There used to be easy ways to do this. I don't remember what they were. Something about here. I remember there used to be a thing where you put your buckets in your hand and they would be easier to fill that way. Let's just see if I could remember this. And then I hit number one. And then, oh, it's full. Look at that. Wait, no, it's number three. Wait, was number one full the whole time? I don't know. Maybe it was. All right, so you hit number one and then you, let's save the game in case you actually drink something and poison ourselves. <laughs> All right, and then you... Oh, here we go. Fill up. E. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is much, much quicker. All right, good. Yep, that's it. Because if you don't do it that way, then you have to go V, drag this over here, fill it up, drag it over here, and escape. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but trust me, when you have to, like, move this much water, it, it's kind of a big deal. All right, edit, move. Wait, what does edit mean? Place item, yeah, I'm not sure what edit means, but whatever. All right, so interact. So now we have to, I, I don't know of any other way to get the water in here, so we have to do it like this. And it is unsafe. Can you um drag this over? Yep, you can. All right, so we'll put these all up here. All right, this is cool. We only have to do this twice. You can't have anything in your hand, though, if you want to drag it out of there. So you drag this up here. Okay, so then we just do this. Give. All right, yeah, this this isn't going to take that long. I remember this being like a pain in the ass. And it was before I figured out the whole put the bucket in your hands trick, you know? Wait, how do I only have 40? Did I? It should be 50 because I have five of them. Oh, there's one. There we go. And we just do that again. And we're back with all our water. So I think we're going to make the farm over in this little area here. Um, just because, I don't know. I kind of like it. It looks pretty dope. And um, it's close to the entrance, which is good. Uh, we just have to think about where I'm going to put the fence. And these fencing right here are just simply these uh, livestock fences. And I love them because they snap into place. Although I don't think the gate will. But that's okay. Well, maybe it will. Who knows? Um, we're going to bring this over to here. And one more. All right. I wish the ghost image would stay up, please. All right. I think that'll work. Let's go grab our materials. We're going to need sticks. We're going to need components. Well, sticks and components is it. So I used up my last electronic part, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But you know what? It was a good one because look at this, man. This looks really good. The lights in this game look fantastic. They really do. I don't remember the I don't remember the floodlights looking this good. Uh, maybe it's because my last base was so freaking ginormous. I mean, I made some really big bases. And it's hard to light them up and they make them too big. So very well could be the case. And this thing looks good great this is a great farm hell yeah it is how tired am i eh i am it's still a little dark in here <laughs> uh so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this and i'm going to put it on a chair and see if the height helps all right we'll turn a little bit more that way and then we'll use this to aim it down yeah it does look a little bit better i mean it's like it was more lit up over here before. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That should be that should be okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here. Hey Scott, I had him making sticks by the way. Hey, how's it going? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we are going to. Are we going to eat that? I got to keep an eye on that. I really don't want to turn it into dry food. All right. So what we got to do now is we got to make bags. Okay, because we're going to need what we're going to need for this for these farm plots is. Oh, we don't need bags. That's right. Oh, never mind. All right. So if you want to make these, you're going to need the bags because you're going to need to make soil sacks. We'll do that later. Yeah, we're going to do that later. For these, all you need is manure. And I've got the manure. So let's come on out here and let's do it. Now, what do I want to... I want to do this right here. It's still a little dark. And through the power of editing, we now have the sun coming up. I still have the lights on. Get a little bit more light, but the sun is coming up. All right, let's go ahead and make one of these. So, um, I want these to go like this. Alright, and that's looking pretty good. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe a little bit more like that, but th these connect to each other, so, um, yeah, I, I think that'll be a good spot for it. 
All right, and then we gotta, wait, I have the manure. Oh, what do I need? Oh, you need the shovel. Okay, duh, you don't need the shovel just to get the, just to get the soil. You need it for the manure as well. I think I put the shovel, I am organized. Look at me. I'm so organized. What the hell is wrong with you two? A couple of weirdos. You know what? Um, no, I don't want to make that my active base. I want them out of there. They're freaking me out. All right. Teleport to base. Teleport to base. All right, weirdos. Stop being weird, weirdos. All right. So now we should have everything we need to make these two. I'll turn the generator off pretty soon. All right. There we go. And we now have a crop furrow. And then we're going to make another crop furrow. And these do snap into place, thank goodness. Because if they didn't, I wouldn't be able to handle it mentally. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get some water. Um, I don't know how many ways there are to water these things. But I do know this works. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, and then we're going to go grab our big thingy of water. There we go. Bring this over here. Um, I don't have a permanent place for this yet. I'll just... Uh, I want it inside for sure. Uh, you know what? This looks like a good spot for it right here. Let's kind of line it up a little bit. All right. Well, maybe even on the table. Now nah, the table's too small for it. we got to turn it around because we need the that part. No. Actually, we don't need any part facing our way, but I want this part facing. It just makes a little bit more sense. All right. Looking good. So let's go ahead and fill this up. And four. And you basically just water them until they change color. Boom. Done. So much easier, easier than it used to be. Who played this game back at, like before this update? Back in the day when farming first came out. Because I did. And you used to have to use like a whole 15 liters of water just to get that thing to turn the color you need it to be. It, was, it sucked. It basically made farming like you didn't even want to bother. Uh, I could probably go out this way. Go, jump that. Alright, and then we're going to hit number three and plant. And then we're going to hit number four and plant. And then it looks like they're still in my inventory, but they're not. See, they go away as soon as you bring this up. Um, are these in my inventory as well? Like, I thought I only had two of these, but I used them on those. Whatever. All right, so we just have to keep these watered. You do have to water them once a day. And I have been told, I don't know if this is true or not, but I have been told that they will not die if they're not watered. They just won't grow. All right, cool. Now let's do, uh... Yeah, this looks pretty good. I can always move it if I don't like where it is. All right, so now we're going to need the soil sacks. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to have to make a sack. A sack is going to take some of this stuff. Come over here. Get the hell out of here, Scott, you freak. Look at this guy. He looks like he's humping my crafting table. Uh, is this made in my inventory or in here? Uh, I think it's made in my inventory. There it is. Soil sack. Um, I think you only need one because you just fill it up with dirt and then you're good to go. All right. So now what you do with the soil sack is once you have it in your inventory, you take the shovel and you simply dig anywhere. And it will get you a bunch of soil. How much soil am I going to need for this? Uh, 10. Okay, I think the soil sack can hold 10. But even if it holds 5, it doesn't really matter. Because you could just, uh, you know, empty out 5, put it in the, the crafting, you know, uh, ghost image, and rinse and repeat until you're good. Yeah, I think these are empty, these manure things. Because you see, these are five, 5 kilograms. These are 0. So I think they're empty. But... All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Attack! Attack! You can even do this as you're doing it. Just like, oh, maybe I need the wood and nails first. It won't let me put this. It won't let me put the soil sack in until the wood and nails. Or is it because I don't have a hammer? It might be because I don't have a hammer. I'm not sure if you have to put stuff in in order. I don't think you do. But let's grab this and let's also shut off the generator because we're looking pretty good now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it does put in whatever you have. Oh, is that a mist? That's a mist, people. You know what? Maybe we'll kill during this mist. I, what I want to do is, because I've been told that in order to get elect electronic parts, 
you want to farm the infected. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a spike setup, like maybe a little circle of spikes that I can jump into and farm them from inside. That's kind of what I want to try. Uh, I might even try that next episode. Oh, there he is. Alright. Oh, that guy's got a different shirt on. Alright, and... You're dead. I think as long as you keep shooting or if you lay down, they'll just keep coming in. And I don't really care about this ammo, like, at all. Damn it. That was the nerve stem of his back of his neck. You think that you figured that would have taken him out? But yeah, I, I don't want. I obviously don't want to use ammo to farm these guys because that doesn't sound like a good idea. I think what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna make a circle of spikes and just stand inside of them on a mist and see if I can get them to come in. Um, now, does sleeping still bring them after you? Because usually, if you sleep, they'll they'll come in. I think it matters where you sleep. Yep, there we go. So there should be someone around here because they woke me up. But I'm not seeing them. Hmm. I, I don't know. It's weird that they woke me up, but I'm not seeing the guy that woke me up. Alright, whatever. Just loot him up. Salt's good. But no electric electronic parts. That's a bummer. That's a damn bummer. And it's really weird that something woke me up, but there's nobody in the area. There's somebody out there. All right, let's get some more kills. All right, it's over. So let's go ahead and loot everything else. I don't need that. I will take that. Um. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy attacked my my freaking fence. What a dickhead. We got to finish the wall, man. I don't know what he was attacking over here. Why is he attacking those? I don't think so. All right. Uh, those look still watered. Oh, God, they broke out a lot of my fence. These fucking guys. All right, well, I'm not going to... Oh, God. I was... ah! I'm going to rebuild the fence because I want it for a screenshot, but <laughs> if they break it again, I'll leave it alone until I get the outer wall finished. Also, can they spawn inside of my base? Because if they can spawn inside of my base, then I can't have any fencing inside of my base because they'll just break it. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. I don't mind them being able to break the fencing. That makes sense, but... If they can spawn inside of my base, that's kind of bullshit. So, we'll see. I really like the fencing. It's not that I need it. It's just it looks good. You know? I like my stuff to look cool. So, not one electronic part. Awesome. And I've looted quite a few guys. So, that's a bit of a bummer. Alright, so I finished this up. Now, I don't have any seeds to plant in this thing. But it'll be pretty cool to plant when I get the seeds. Hopefully, I'll get more seeds. We'll go out and loot uh, the f farms a lot more. And see if we can get some more seeds. So that will be awesome. All right, there's one other thing I want to do. I want to make a water thingy mabob. I'm assuming I can move this, so I don't think it really matters exactly where I put it. But um, yeah, let's see if we got a good place. Oh, that. Oh, wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, I think this would be a good spot for it, to be honest. Does it matter which way it's facing? I have no idea how it works. Well, there's the hose. So I kind of want the hose to be over here. Now I was told this thing will catch rainwater. Which is why I'm going to make it. Oh, the ladder. Uh, actually, that's pretty good. Climb up from the inside. I like that. Yeah, so I was told this does collect rainwater. I don't think it's going to, like, automatically water my crops, but pretty cool if it would, you know? And I do have that hose. And I'm going to need 16 wood. All right. And let's go ahead and do that. Now we're just going to need a little bit. We need eight. Just eight more of the uh, metal, metal parts, metal scrap. And then we'll be good to go with that. I like where this game's going. I, I want the developer to hurry up with it, though, man. Like, <laughs> I sound like a greedy child, and I kind of am. But, man, like, I can see where he's going with this. I can see the pieces, and he just needs to put them together. I'm really excited um, for him to do that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And you climb up. I don't know what climbing up does for you, but... Um, oh, what does that mean? All right, let me know what that means, because I don't know. It looks like a lever or something, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing up here. I'm pressing, yeah, I'm not seeing any prompts or anything showing me what to do, so I'm not sure how that works. And I'm guessing you valve? 
Okay. You can take that. And, oh! Okay. There's no water in it, but if there was, then I can put that back, right? Oh, cool. All right. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Now, will it catch rainwater? I'm not sure. I feel like I have to take the top off of it first, but I don't see how to do that. So I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. But I am going to call this one here, guys. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Bye.